What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I will be sharing with you how you can apply for your, your study permit or student visa from India or anywhere around the world. Guys, you don't need to be paying these visa agent or immigration any agent a ton of money to get this done for you. All you need is an internet connection, a laptop, a credit or debit card, it can be either master or visa, right? That's all you need to get the application done by yourself. So save yourself some money and watch this video till the end. So with that said, let's head over to my laptop and get started. So guys, to get started, what you wanna do is go to www.canada.ca, right? And then select immigration and citizenship, right? And then you scroll down and here on the most requested, just select sign in or create IRCC secure account. Now here, what you want to do is select register because you will not have a GC key or a sign in partner. Now the GC key is basically a username and password that you'll use to log in once you create it, right? So I have a sign in partner, so I'm going to sign in. Don't worry about the sign in partner because once you log in, you'll be asked the same questions. Okay, so let's scroll down and select accept. Ensure you save your security questions because they are important. Now on this page, you want to scroll down and select apply to come to Canada. Scroll down again and select visitors visa study and our work permit what would you like to do in canada study right how long are you planning to stay temporary more than six months take your passport code jam for jamaica what is your current country or territory i'm going to say jamaica do you have a family member who is a canadian citizen or permanent resident and is 18 years or older Stick which best applies to you. Stick your date of birth. I'm going to say 2000, month January the 1st. Then select next. Are you a lawful permanent resident of the United States with a valid citizenship and immigration services number? I'm going to say no, right? Have you been accepted to a designated learning institution? Select yes. If you don't know what that is, make sure you Google it before you complete your application, right? Then select next. What is your marital status? Select what best applies to you. What is your province or territory of destination? Select which best applies to you. Then select next. So your results are in. You may be eligible to come to Canada as a student. So yeah, you want to select continue here. Here you want to select continue as well. You're going to go through some additional questions. Do you need a valid work permit or study permit and need a visa to return to Canada? Select which best applies to you right so here we are going to say no because you do not have a work permit you do not have a study permit and you do not have a visa as yet right so we're going to select no then select next are you an exchange student select what best applies to you is work an essential component select what best applies are you a spouse common law partner or a child of a certain skilled worker or a certain full-time international student that has or will have status in canada depends on your situation so i'm going to say no but if you do have a spouse in canada then select yes right scroll down are you a recipient of a commonwealth scholarship select what best applies to you you can read everything else right i'm going to select no are you accompanying a family member that has a status in canada select what best applies to you right then select next have you ever committed been arrested for being charged with or convicted with criminal offense in your country we're going to select no for that then select next have you had a medical exam performed by an ircc authorized panel physician doctor within the last 12 months we're going to say no then select next have you visited or lived in any of the designated countries for six consecutive months in the last year we're going to select no then select next do you want to submit an application for a family member so if you're coming with your spouse right then you want to select yes here what will happen for them is that they will get the option to apply for an open work permit. Do not select the visa option, right? So we are going to select next because they are eligible to get an open work permit and the application can be done all at once. This is what the visa application agents are not telling you, right? If you are submitting applications for more than one family member, please start with your spouse or common law or partner if, it's, if it applies, right? Modify my answers a bit. 
and select no or if your situation is yes then you select yes and it will just and you just provide the information for them right are you giving someone access to your application no then select next in the past 10 years have you given your fingerprints in your case you're going to select no but if you have done it then you select yes so we're going to select yes here you're paying your fees are you able to make digital copies of your document for sure let's select next will you be paying for your application online for sure yes we're going to do that a hundred percent so select next now review your answers make sure everything is accurate and then we're going to proceed and then continue now submitting your application on the screen you'll be asked to upload documents for your application please do not use your browser's navigation button back and forward these button here right as they will not work properly within this application so step one you must be logged into your own account to submit an application you cannot use another person's account step two if you select the exit button your information will be saved so you don't have to worry step three is we are going to upload all the required documents based on the information and the answers that you have provided and step four you're going to pay the relevant fees so let's continue now on your documents checklist page is where you'll see the list of documents that you'll actually need to support your application right so you're going to download this form complete it and upload it so let's select it if when you click on it it looks like this right don't panic just select the save button save it in your downloads or wherever then you go to the file directory and then right click and open with and then select adobe acrobat now if you are not seeing adobe acrobat you can download that from google now this is what the application form looks like so just take your time read the form and complete all the required information it's asking nothing complicated really just gonna ask you about your marital status where you live where you have traveled to your language that you speak your passport information right your id your contact information your residency your mailing address and your residential address nothing that you can take your time and read guys it's nothing complicated really so you're going to scroll down so you're going to sign this form digitally by specifying your first and last name and the current date right now somewhere on the form it may ask you for dli number that number will be on your acceptance letter right so any information that you see that you are right this this is the one designated learning institution this should be on your acceptance letter or you should be able to google it and find it but check with your acceptance letter first right and once you have completed that you're going to go back to your application and upload it upload your acceptance letter upload your passport and upload your means of financial support now here you may have multiple documents so what you can do is merge them into one file so there's a website called i love pdf merge right so just select this merge pdf files online upload the files that you want to merge send files open and what i'm going to do now is that i'm just going to merge them into one over these files have some programming in them so i won't be able to merge them right so but you should get the idea so now let's go back to the checklist for your digital photo you can use your smartphone to take a picture crop it into passport size and upload it now you're going to complete the family information document just like the first one you're going to download it fill it out and that's it nothing complicated now i do recommend that you also apply for your temporary resident visa if you don't have any it's not required you can do it at a later date so this is the form that you will need to complete for the temporary resident visa so for the fees that you're going to pay you're going to pay your study permit fee which is 150 dollars your biometrics fee which is 85 dollars bringing it to a grand total of 235 dollars so once you upload all the forms you will see a green check mark here right you'll see green check marks then you'll see the option to continue and on the next page all you're going to do is pay for the application and that's it so if you have any questions feel free, free to drop them in the comment section of this video so that's it for now guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video